Many of you have noticed an increase in spam lately. I'm going to share with you some strategies that I use to reduce the amount of spam in my inbox. We're going to be covering examples of common spam types, server-side protection, email program protection, what email spoofing is, and additional resources you can use to fight spam. Take a look at this spam message that I had in my inbox. First you can see that it's from a fake email address. This is what's commonly called a spoofed email address and this is why sometimes it appears that even you are sending spam. The second thing is that it has a GIF attachment. Many people if they're sending a photo it's going to be a JPEG or JPG attachment. If it has a GIF attachment, unless it's coming from a graphic designer or someone with some sort of architectural plans, it's probably going to be spam. So that's one thing you can do to set up a rule in your uh, email program to filter out uh, messages with just GIF attachments. The other thing is you can see there's a lot of random text in it. This is called Bayesian poison and it's a new technique that's very effective in foiling some of the uh, filters that are out there. As you can see, spammers have gotten more creative and it's gotten harder for filters to automatically determine what spam is. However, if you set up a multiple layer protection scheme, meaning that you have taken advantage of some of the resources on the server and also some of the filtering options that your email program has or that plugins for your email programs make available, you can stay on top of the spam battle. I'm going to be telling you about Spam Assassin, which is included for free with all of your sustainable websites accounts. And it's a good thing to turn on. It helps prevent spam. It's a filter that relies on a lot of rules and um, combined knowledge about what spam is and how to identify it. So go ahead and log into your control panel, which is just your domain dot com slash cpanel and once you get there you'll see the mail icon in the top left go ahead and click on that and it will take you to the mail manager main menu spam assassin is towards the bottom of the list go ahead and click on spam assassin and it will tell you the current status of it whether it's um, enabled or disabled and then spam box is a place on the server that holds your spam this can be used to avoid downloading spam to your local mail client like Outlook or Mac Mail. So go ahead and turn on Spam Assassin by clicking the Enable Spam Assassin button. Um, you'll see it'll take a minute to come back but you should get an OK message that Spam Assassin is enabled and uh, we're just waiting for that in the movie here. Here it is. It'll say attempting to enable Spam Assassin and Spam Assassin is now enabled. The next thing to do is to go ahead and configure Spam Assassin just to show you some of the options you are allowed to uh, tweak as part of Spam Assassin configuration. The required score is a score from 1 to 10 on the um, intensity in which it filters spam. Uh, for example, a 1 would be very intense, uh, it would be the most strict spam filter you can do, and then a 10 is the least strict spam filter you can do. There are also different options here, for example, blacklist. If you know that you don't want to receive um, email from someone, you can put them on the blacklist. Um, you can change different advanced options like the score for certain tests. Um, I would refer to the Spam Assassin website for an explanation of those. That's not really something I ever mess with, personally. Um, and then the whitelist is very important. It's uh, very important to whitelist all addresses at yourdomain.com and you also want to whitelist anything at sustainablewebsites.com to make sure that we can get in touch with you. Um, it's also a good idea to just add in sustainablemarketing.com if you're um, conversing with Ivan then his email is ivan at sustainablemarketing.com so go ahead and save your options here your settings have been saved and then 
You can run Spam Assassin just by itself for a while to see how it's doing. Any messages that are marked as spam will show up in your inbox with a special spam header. Um, if you think it's doing a good job and not getting any false positives, that is any emails that um, shouldn't be marked as spam, go ahead and enable the spam box by clicking on this button here. The main thing to consider with spam box is that it does keep copies of the spams in a special spam box on your server which counts towards your file quota. So occasionally you do have to log in and clear the spam box. And that's it for Spam Assassin. Now it's important to understand that you also need spam protection for your email program on your computer. We can only adjust the settings on the server to a generic level because if we go too far we run into the danger of creating false positives for everyone. With the spam protection program running on your computer, you can adjust the settings and actually train the software to recognize spam much better than the server could because it looks at the email that you personally receive. If you use Windows, I recommend that you check out cloudmark.com and look at their home and home office or business packages. Um, I've used Cosmark when I uh, used to use the, the PC on the Outlook, and it was really amazing at, at catching stuff. The really unique thing about Cloudmark is it relies on a database that is put together by everyone using the software. So as soon as one person recognizes something as spam, everyone else gets it filtered also. The other thing is, is it uses um, all the other filters like Bayesian spam filters and it really catches a lot of stuff up front. So uh, it's a free trial and the URL is cloudmark.com. Now if you're on a Mac like I am, the best one I have found is called Spam Civ and uh, it's, here's the URL, it's c-command.com slash spam civ and um, it works great with Apple Mail and it also works with Entourage and uh, Eudora. Um, this is a Bayesian filter, so it, you do have to train it. Uh, the instructions were pretty easy to figure out, and um, right now it, it catches uh, almost 100% of the spam that, that comes in. I have to uh, manually train it with a, a few, maybe two or three new messages a day. The third thing I want to cover is using JavaScript to protect your email address when it's posted on your website. This is really something that either you're going to code yourself or talk to your web designer about integrating into your website. Um, but the main point is that if you have your email address on your website in plain text, then it's something that spammers can harvest and use to put in their lists of people to spam. So this is the script that I use whenever I put an email address on a website, and it's at joemahler.com slash js-mailer.shtml, and it's a whole article on how to protect your email address. You really don't have to know too much about it because um, you can just skip to the final script and use this great little form that creates the code for you you can just cut and paste this form into your website where you see the normal mail to link and this will protect your email address from uh, harvesting uh, spam robots that are out there on the internet I definitely recommend you do this and don't put your email address in plain text on your website this is the number one way to reduce the amount of spam that even gets to your address some of the additional resources I'd like to share with you are three links here. Uh, one of them is an article called Understanding Email Spoofing and it's on the windowsecurity.com address and uh, it basically explains how easy it is for people to fake um, that they're sending email with your address um, and uh, one of the things that you can do um, to help prevent that although it doesn't get rid of the problem entirely is to write our tech support and ask that they turn on SPF or sender policy framework for your domain name and you can just email that to support at sustainablewebsites.com you may not need it and 
again, it's not 100% reliable, but it is good to know about what email spoofing is and how you can uh, try to prevent it. The other link I'd like to show you is the Coalition Against Unsolicited Commercial Email. Uh, they're a good nonprofit organization that's trying to think of other ways to fight spam. And an additional one is the Anti-Phishing Working Group. Um, they're a little bit more organized than uh, CAUCE. And um, especially if you're an online merchant, I recommend checking out what they're doing. That's it. We hope that you've learned some good strategies for fighting spam. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, if you're already a customer with us, email support at sustainablewebsites.com. And if you're considering joining our community, please email us at sales at sustainablewebsites.com or give us a call toll free. Thanks.